Hey, what's up? So I'm going to show you a simpler way to modifying the Redux state. So in our to do slice, we have this filter call function. Or it's the high order function that Ray in JavaScript, and we are using it to filter our to dos. But there is uh, a simpler way, at least in the syntax. But behind the scene, they do the same thing. Uh, remember, we are using uh, Imar. Uh, it's this library. Uh, with Redux toolkit, and if you read about it, there is a lot of uh, more simpler, simpler way to modify things. As you can see here, this is the state. You can index the element in index one, and then change the done property to true, as you can see. So they will change this one for to true, and this will be immutable. So this is one of the cool things in Emer. I'm going to show you how we can do it. But before we do this, uh, as you can remember, the style here is not correct. Not sure if you are following up with me, but uh, to fix it, just move the item component at the top here. And close it, format, and this should fix it, as you can see. So I'm going to simplify the delete function. To do this, we are filtering that array. I'm going to change it to accept the payload, which will be the ID. Uh, as you can see, this is why I'm filtering on it. And here I am sending, I'm dispatching the delete function that I imported from the slice, then the, I'm sending the ID with it. But if I send the index, I can do it in a much simpler way. So let's say this will be, the payload will be the index. I will rename it to be index like this. And I will change it in the following way. So state to splice, I will start from the index and go one element. And let's save. And here, of course, I won't send the ID, I will send the index. So to get it in the map function, the second argument is the index. So just dispatch it with the index. Now let's check it out. So this is our Redux. As you can see, we deleted the element in index one, now in index zero, now in index also zero because the array will be shifted. Or it's a new array with new indexes. So yeah, I think this is a simpler way of from using the filter function. And uh, I think something to remember, if you want to retain or create a new whole state, not just modify one, you need to retain from these functions. Uh, that's something to remember. But yeah, I think this is also, this is very interesting. Let's say you want to change the text for a specific one. Sorry, uh, for a specific one, you will do the following. So let's say I will create a new reducer. So update. I'll call it patch. So state. This will be the payload. Now, yeah, I will do almost the same thing. So the payload will be the index but since I, I will pass for some other properties so this will be an object I will destruct the index and destruct the text this is the new text I'll call it txt if you are confused by this syntax this is equivalent for let me show you so action const uh, index will be equal to action dot payload dot index and the text would be equal to action.payload.txt so here let's get the payload we will destruct it payload then to destruct this is an object right because we have index and txt inside of it to destruct these two you will put colon then put another destruction uh, like parentheses and now index and text uh, here in this one we are just sending a single value this is the index just a single value, so this will be just an integer. So action dot payload will be just like this. So action dot payload will be the index. And like this, I am renaming the payload to index. This will stay the same. All yeah, will will work the same. But I'm renaming it to make much more sense because the payload property is always there. Uh, that's how usually Redux works. And yeah, so what I will do here, so since I have my index, so state, then go to that element, 
by index and access its text property and just update it and let's of course export this let's come here and import it we have autocomplete as you can see which is nice and let's create another button uh, this will be this day yeah I'll, I'll make it this icon it doesn't matter that much and make it blue so I will dispatch the patch and I will send to it an object containing the index from this malfunction and the new text I will just put anything uh, random uh, I'll put my name this will be of course txt and this should be this like here but there's a shortcut since they are the same token you can do this so format it and let's go test it uh, it looks bad but let's test it as you can see it's, it's changing these and let's go to the state and go to the action we have our payload and this is the difference so let me improve or maximize this so yeah this is the difference it only changed the text and the element in index 0 so yeah I think and I, I actually started using this sending the index to my reducers uh, it's much more simpler if you think about it. Let's, I will try to write this in the original way in Redux that we usually do. So state, will, we will have a reducer function, but we will retain a new state like this. We will destruct the old state. But since we have here an array, we will do the following. So I will destruct the old state. Or you know, no, something like this. I will find the index. So this will be the index. So state dot find. Oh, you you probably passed uh, an ID, right? So to do dot ID equal the ID. So I found the index. I will now retain a new array. I will splice this array from zero to the index. Then I will put. So this is the new to do would be equal to the same ID which is that the one that you sent and the text so this is a new ID I want to insert this will be here then I will go and destruct the original state from the index plus one to the end so this is what you usually need to do of course you can simplify it we are sending the index so we can do the same thing so I can remove this and use these but I still think this one is really simpler because you will usually need to do something like this uh, just to update some, some, proper, some element uh, in the middle or in, the, in some index in the array and this is much simpler if you think about it uh, and another thing um, let me create another button uh, this will be I think they have yellow and I will have address book okay whatever so yeah these things so when you click on the yellow button I want to just delete the text property nothing more and I will call it delete prop so state we will destruct the payload as usual it will be an object I will destruct from it the index and maybe the property name right I think that makes sense to make it dynamic just not only delete the text maybe delete any property you want from any object in the array which is very nice so what I will do and this is very uh, very nice from Emma so I can use the delete keyword actually or the delete operator I will go to the state add uh, access the index access the element by index then I will delete maybe the text but since we are passing the prop dynamically I can do this and imagine if you want to do to do this in, a, in the usual way we use Redux it will be very annoying we will do this almost the same code snippet we done in the previous one here but it will be much more complex or a little, a little bit more complex but and this simplifies uh, things a lot so let me export this import it here 
and let's dispatch it and I will of course pass the index and the prop will be txt so it's not supported from us oh, of course sorry my bad I should import it here from here prop is not defined it's in our slice yeah of course type I think this we will we might have an error uh, prop is not defined so let me try to refresh maybe I send no, I think that's that's fine yeah as you can see it works sometimes I need to refresh not what not sure why maybe it's caching some previous code but let's go to our redux and trying to expand this so as you can see we have this delete property action and let's see to the difference as you can see we just deleted the text and let's go to our state to do's as you can see this one is now without a text uh, I think this is very interesting and uh, yeah I think I think this way is very interesting and it's really mixing make things very simpler and I will put a link in the description for the yeah this document the update patterns as you can see here they are also using the delete keyword so it's very interesting and uh, you should definitely check it out and I'm planning in the future to create just videos about uh, Emer and Redux without Redux Toolkit. I think, I think we covered uh, almost everything in Redux Toolkit as like uh, the core functionality. Maybe some patterns that people usually do, we didn't cover that, but uh, I'll try to do it. And uh, yeah, that's it.